So this is the unkillable clan boss team. We have Rosh card placing the block damage, and Skull Crusher taking the stuns. Everybody else is a DPS. Let's show you guys the presets real quick. This is for Rosh card. We're opening with the A3. Opening with his A2. We're turning off Rathalos Blade Master's A3 because we don't want the increased speed. So we're just doing the A1 and the A2. And I'll show you guys the builds after we do the run. And thank you for 750 subs. We have the accuracy lead from Frozen Banshee. Alright, so it starts off with the A2 and then the A3. A2 from Skull Crusher and then the A3 from Rosh Card. And what we want is to have the block damage come up every single time before the clan boss does any of his AoEs. And then you're going to see that Skull Crusher will put up the unkillable buff on himself. And then for the clan boss, he's going to hit the stun on Skull Crusher. But because of his passive, he's going to completely wipe it off and he'll be good. We have Frozen Banshee coming in with the poison sensitivity and the poisons. Rathalos just here for pure damage. Remember every fifth skill he's going to do another 200% extra damage. And on the sixth turn, the sixth boss turn, we should be in complete sync. So he takes the stun, Roshkar takes a turn, and before the clan boss does his two AoE moves from his A2 and his A3, I think it is, we have the block damage come up. Vizier is going to just use his A1. We turned off his other skills because we just want him to extend the debuffs. And it's looking pretty good so far. It's looking like it's it's good. So we're just going to let this run. And we'll see what the damage looks like at the very end. This is my first time building this unkillable team. This is supposed to be a 2 key for Ultra Nightmare. I think the damage said it was going to be something close to around 40 million. And here we are approaching the 50 turn count for the boss where the demon lord will look at that i i targeted him targeting his, targeting his belly where the clan boss is going to start hitting through our unkillable and block damage it does look like we're about to hit 40 million so this is going to be a pretty good two key this is honestly one of the easier comps that i've i've tried to build like this is my second time building an unkillable clan boss team one uh, one time was for myself and then this time for Muhammad on, on his account. Yeah, the debuff extensions on Vizier is just insane. Look at that, 20, 21 for the debuffs. I'm assuming this is gonna end close to about 43, 44. All right, so his next turn will be his 50th turn in which he will destroy us. Yep, there it is, there it is. 44.2 million, a solid two key, we did it. Eight minute, eight, nine minute run, full auto uh, with the right presets. Nice, we did it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at everybody real quick. We're going to start off by looking at Rosh card, the tower, the speed that you need. Well, let me back up because on his account, he has an area bonus from Live Arena speed from the Demon Lord. He gets an extra two to speed. I don't recommend that you do that because it's going to, I mean, it's not the hardest thing to deal with, but just, just so you know, that's why he is built at 239 but when he goes into the demon lord battle he's going to be at 241 which is the exact speed that you want here on uh, deadwood jedi's calculator and then any everything else doesn't really matter here are his masteries this is one time that i will say you want to blindly copy these masteries these masteries will work let's go ahead and take a look at skull crusher now skull crusher is going at 242 but his true speed will be 244. His parameters are going to be anywhere between 243 to 245. And the other thing is you want to make sure that he has a minimum of 55k HP and over 3000 defense. The reason is because you want him to be the stun target and those are the stats that are going to help him be the stun target. On top of that, I have to note this, you're going to want to put an immortal set on him to help him heal because according to Deadwood Jedi's description, he needs to have about 16% of his max HP remaining minimum for him to be the stun target, and you want him to be the stun target. You don't want anybody else to receive the stun. So give him an immortal set to help him stay alive. Here are his masteries. 
we do have Live Drinker on him because that is going to help him do some extra healing to help him stay as the stun target. Vizier. If you don't have Vizier, you could use somebody else, um, like Martyr. Uh, and it's a, it's sort of a flexible spot. He is going at a true speed. So we, I built him at 189, but because of the live arena bonus, his true speed will be at 191. And his speed ranges from... Actually, it has to be exactly 191 for this flex spot right here. So exactly at 191. Here are his masteries. He has a three hitter on his A1. We gave him Giant Slayer. And counterattack masteries. Now we're going to look at the DPSs. We tried Whisper at first, but because Whisper, we thought that taking her out of a Relentless set was going to help. But then again, she also has an innate passive that gives her a 10% chance of getting an extra turn, which throws the entire thing off of sync. Remember, you don't want to take any masteries on top of that. That will manipulate turn meter. Let me state that again. When you're building this team, do not take any masteries that manipulate turn meter. So no rapid response, no arcane celerity, cycle of revenge. You don't want to take cycle of revenge either. So instead of whisper, we ended up going with... Oh, and the reason we didn't take Geo is because this comp uses block damage. Geo's passive only reflects damage to the clan boss with an HP burn if he's receiving, if anybody's receiving damage. So we didn't use Geo. Our two DPSs are going to be Rathalos and Frozen Banshee. Remember, for Rathalos, we turn off his A3 because of his increased speed. We don't want that. Rathalos, we built him out with damage. Make sure that when you're building your DPSs, you want a minimum of 4,000 attack. And his true speed is going to be at two, or 193. 193. And the DPS ranges are going to be from 192 to 197. So make sure you're building him out with damage, 100% crit rate, and as much crit damage as you can get. We don't need accuracy on him. Here are the masteries. Go ahead and take a look at that. And for our last DPS, Frozen Banshee, most of her damage will be coming from the poisons that she places and the poison sensitivity, which increases the damage that they receive from that the, that the boss is going to receive. Her build speed's at 189, true speed's going at 192, get some damage on her. But it, but then again, what matters most is going to be her accuracy. Because her damage is going to come from the poisons. Here are her masteries. That's the easiest unkillable team that I've ever built.